Okay. Happy Sunday, you guys. Good morning. So, um, I was in the kitchen cooking. I was about to get ready to eat and I had to stop what I was doing because, um, I either usually, um, like listen to music or listen to something motivational. Or I'll just find like something on YouTube to watch. YouTube was like my TV these days. Anyways, um, I was cooking and I think her name was like Diana or something like that. I'm going to link her video down below. Um, because she just popped, I've never seen her before. never watched any of her videos. I'm not familiar with her. And she just popped up and her caption said something like no man, no friends or something like that. And I just clicked on it because I'm like, whatever, I'm cooking. Let me just, you know, something told me just click on it, see, listen to what it was about. And she started off talking about um, your soulmate and whether or not everyone gets one. And it's so crazy because every single thing I was like, I have to stop what I'm doing and, and make a video after I was done listening to hers. Because I literally, when I tell you she said verbatim what I have been saying to myself for at least the past year. And I just recently said out loud for the first time um, to my friend who had asked me something about relationships and it, if people, you know, settle or if people find their true love. And this was my response. I told her, you know, I think everybody has, <clears throat> there's someone for everyone, right? But I also believe that a lot of people settle and people don't, um, end up with who they truly want to be with. They end up with who it works out with. And I think that every soul, every person has a soulmate. But I was like, I don't think that everyone finds their soulmate in this lifetime. Because realistically, when you think about it, there's a lot of people who passed away that were single. And that doesn't mean that they didn't meet their soulmate at some point, you know, in life. And they just didn't find their way back to each other physically before they died. But I just don't think that everybody finds their soulmate in this lifetime and I was telling her I was like you know I've kind of come to terms over the last year or so just thinking to myself that I may not find my soulmate within this lifetime I may not find my, my soulmate you know we may meet later in life that's very possible and I'm a hopeful romantic so I you know whatever but um I was like yeah we may not meet until the afterlife or in the next dementia or lifetime or wherever it is that we go after this we may not meet until both of us you know pass and I was telling her I'm like you know I've come to terms to you know be <clears throat> okay with that um but I'm also a hopeful romantic because um I met this lady while I was in Belize before and she just like was staring at me it was an older white lady she was um there I think on her um, honeymoon with her husband, who coincidentally, they weren't even supposed to be in Belize. <laughs> this was like a last minute decision. She was like, babe, let's go to Belize. So um, anyway, she was just staring at me and then she made her way over and we were just talking and she was just telling me her life and she coincidentally happened to be from the Bay Area. And um, she was in like, I think she was in her 50s and her husband was a little older. They were, they were great. Their vibe was great. Um, very young and youthful and... Uh, she was just saying that, you know, she was always attending weddings, but never her own. And, you know, she was the person that, you know, it took her a while. She was getting her life together and, and, and just figuring out what she wanted to do career wise. And then she got there and now later in life, uh, she found love. She found her husband and, you know, she's now retired and her husband is working and taking care of her. And so she was just saying, you know, live your life, do whatever it is you want to do. Don't wait on a man, create the life you want for yourself and don't give up on it may come later in life like it did for me. Anyways, um, I, everything has just been coming full circle lately. So I click on the video and this woman, when you guys click, click. I'm going to put it in the description. Click on her video afterwards. And when I tell you, she said verbatimly what I have been saying and what I just said to my friend literally like sometime last week, like a few days ago. Um, So I just felt like, I don't know, it was meant for me to hear the video. Maybe it was meant for me to create my own. Maybe it was meant for me to hear to, you know, kind of solidify what I have been saying I don't know what exactly the purpose is right now but everything has just been coming like full circle and my friend had said this recently too um I uh have been going I, I've been doing this for the past 
either since the beginning of this year, I know I've been working on it all year, or since the ending of last year, it's been a process for BART Police Department. And I got all the way to the end, right before I was start to start the academy, and they told me I was no longer eligible because um, in my earlier 20s, I'm 32 now, going on 33 in October. In my early 20s, um, I did a YouTube series out here. And coincidentally, I played a detective on there as well. And so one of the scenes that we shot, and the, the person had permission to shoot at Merritt College. And we were there shooting a scene. And one of the scenes required me to have a fake gun. And someone had ended up calling the, the, the police. And the police came. Um, it was no big deal. They kind of just told us to leave. But I completely, I'm from East Oakland. Like, I, so many incidents have happened that, that involved guns with the police that was way more serious than them just coming and telling us to leave that I I literally forgot and mind you I had to go back and tell them things from like middle school till now so they felt like I was omitting information or whatever the case may be so it was really sucky because it was based off like one person's opinion after I had gotten so far but um I was saying that everything comes full circle because a week before that, I just so happened to go to a baby shower and meet someone who was in the academy that I was getting ready to go to. And he was telling me about how, you know, things with just trying to become a cop and in, in, in the world in general, but speaking specifically on trying to become a cop, he's like, yeah, there's, you know, people who don't look like us who get through because of just how they look and how we have to work so much harder and we don't get to uh necessarily move on from like mistake and and what i did wasn't even a mistake i guess it was just a misunderstanding them thinking i was trying to omit the, the information which is dumb knowing that they can easily find out but anyways um you know and so basically he was just saying all that and when i was telling my friend about it when i was like bummed over like not no longer being considered um she was like it's crazy how things just come full circle because what are the odds of you meeting someone a week before who tells you this and gives me an example of what happened with people in his you know in class with him in the academy and then a week later i get an email saying that i'm no longer being considered so i'm just like damn that's crazy the universe was like kind of preparing me for it i guess so i won't feel so bummed out about it or whatever I don't know but it's just super crazy and then there were so many other coincidences that um had happened when we were like in conversation like it was just it was it was crazy like I feel like things are aligning in my life and becoming so in sync and it's not there yet and I'm still confused about like certain you know stuff and just like okay what is what does this mean and I don't know per se but I am just kind of trusting the process and it's just like okay I don't know what this means but I know that things are aligning like in a weird way and things are going to work out and be you know what they're supposed to be so um yeah that video I, I don't want to sound like I'm rambling I probably <clears throat> do I hope not I hope you guys are able to <laughs> keep up with what I'm saying but that video was crazy um and then she also spoke on like the no friends thing and I do have a lot of friends like I know a lot of people I've always been um you know popular or known a lot of people and I've you know used to party like a lot like literally almost every day so um I have people to like go out with and you know like traveling and stuff like that going out to eat all of that stuff but at the same time I do always say like I want I wish I had a friend that was like not like they don't have other friends but like a friend that was like my friend like you know when you see one you see the other like you know we're kind of like this you know um if that makes sense I guess it doesn't even have to be a best friend just like a close constant friend to do stuff with like there are um I seen someone say there were different categories of friends and that's true there's friends you party with friends you could talk about um you know I don't conspiracy theories with friends that you can just you know get cute and get dressed up with friends you could travel with some friends you can't and I am very aware of that but I just wish I had at least one friend that was like well-rounded with us being kind of on the same page um if that makes sense because like I said I have people that like I can go out with or like travel with but it's always like oh Shauna we're doing this like kind of being invited it's a little bit different when I'm trying to 
do something and get people together myself which i think kind of says a lot like we cool whatever but like bitch not like that is the vibe it gives to me um like trying to get people like if i was going to dinner or something i can get a fair amount of people together right if i was hosting like before when i hosted a party and it's like just come and i do everything like i can you know get people but like wanting to take a trip or something like that like certain things is just like super difficult and it's because you know with certain stuff where you have to really plan or spend money or go um kind of out of your way it's like okay you know people do certain things for certain people and I guess I don't know when it's just not like that with you and people it's like all right bitch I'm not gonna you know like that's doing too much so it's just really hard trying to get like trips together shit like that when I plan it versus like being invited and going and I'm just to the point now where it's like you know what if I feel it to go I will if not I won't and I'm trying to hype myself up like I want to go to Mexico for my birthday originally I wanted to do New York and then it was just like too difficult. a few people did tell me they couldn't make it and that's completely fine right but then there's a lot of people that just didn't fucking respond at all and after like my second time it's like okay this shit's starting to feel like begging right so um yeah I definitely understand like what she means in that um sense so I'm trying to like hype myself up like okay for my birthday this year I'm gonna go I was gonna do Mexico because I'm I mean um New York because I'm familiar with it I know people there but um I've never I've been pleased about myself but I've never and I'm a person that can go out you know by myself and I do but I've never been out the country by myself and I was like I want to go somewhere and use my passport and go somewhere that I had never been so I was like okay I'm gonna hype myself up for Mexico and you know go my go by myself and stay at like an all-inclusive resort or something but also just really you know get out and have fun I just feel like it's something that if I'm able is meant for me to do I just came off of a three-day fast and so much has just been aligning and you know making sense or not making sense but I just feel things coming together. Um, I've been working on my business a lot more. Um, I've been able to put some things into perspective. Um, I still don't fully understand the Bible and I was already trying to do this, but you know, I got to read a little bit of that and I don't know, it's, it's just helped me think and, and put me at ease. And this cleanse was very peaceful. Um, I've been trying to run all year and it's been hard because um, I've, I've always worked out, but lifting was more my thing. Cardio and running never was. And so I had gotten a really long way. But um, when I fasted for the first time ever, I completed 3.7 miles nonstop. And on this day, you know, um, I went running and I was... Come, come contemplating like oh damn everybody I was supposed to come like is not no longer able to come like should I just stay home and preserve my energy and stuff but I was like no I want to see if I'm able to do it and if this fast is going to help and I was so happy that I did at the end I was so proud of myself and um just something else that you know I accomplished and coming off of the fast now I did it for like three and a half days um it's supposed to be three but then I stretched it kind of um until the end of the fourth day um I lost like a total of seven pounds and I've still been doing pretty good on like the eating and drinking and stuff and it's so crazy because my friend was telling me before how um because she fasts a lot this is my first time and she is kind of um sorry I seen a shadow of somebody outside my window scared me but um yeah and she um like doesn't eat meat and stuff like that and I was like girl I can't get to that point and I'm not to that point but it's crazy because after the fast I had like turkey wings that I made a few days like the day before the fast that I had gotten I cooked a few pieces and I put the rest in the freezer and so I unfreeze them and I have them like slow cooking in the oven now and I'm hoping that I'm able to eat them because now like her saying like meat just like looks weird and even when you're cleaning it and stuff like that because I'm cleaning it in the sink so that I can get ready to season it and cook it throw it in the oven and I'm like why does this shit look weird to me now <laughs> so I don't know like things are just you know and I've been on like just juicing and stuff before but like took it start been taking it more serious since I did the um the fast and just like I haven't drunk whole milk in like years because it just naturally stopped agreeing with my body but the silk 
mm. um, almond milk that I was drinking, I just found out wasn't even healthy like we thought. And so I just switched that. So I don't know. I've just been making little changes. And even though I, I've been running, preparing for the academy, you know, I just applied for um, another. Well, actually, I have to call them today. Another police force. Um, and I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out what direction my life is supposed to go in right now. And, you know trust that everything is you know working itself out career-wise fine uh fine I'm not struggling financially but you know just getting to where I want to be and owning property and stuff like that relationship wise whether it's friendship with a guy whatever um myself you know with God like relationships um as a whole in totality so um I don't know I'm I'm just trying not to be all over the place with this video because I saw her video and it's just like it made me think of like so much that just has I've already been thinking and so I was just like let me get on here and just you know make my own little video maybe somebody else you know would need to see it who has also been feeling the same way um definitely check her video out at the end of this as well but yeah um I don't know just you know trust the process you know, if you're somebody who struggles with like doing things yourself, definitely, you know, start small, start local, start with dinner, start with the, uh, a movie or I don't know, walking around the park or something like that. I've just been getting out into nature more and um, I've still been working out. So I'm like, you know, I mean, doing, you know, the running and stuff like that and pushing myself every day like when I ran the 3.7 that was a few days after being told that I was no longer being considered for BART PD so I don't know what the purpose of me um applying for because originally I was like I don't want to do no damn police I don't even want to apply but then the pay I was like oh I think I do want to do this <laughs> right and then um a goal of mine has always been to like once I'm able to get back to like kids and like <clears throat> group homes and stuff like that and um I was like oh I'll be able to do that with this job and, uh you know create um wealth for myself later down the line like get <clears throat> get in property and invest into my business and stuff like that and with the job that I'm going to apply for now I still would be able to so we'll see how that works out if it's meant for me to go in that direction but um yeah maybe the purpose it wasn't for me to get the job per se but it was for me to start you know running because it definitely helps with sleep and other things and uh maybe it was for me to get to the point of fasting or change the way I think about you know certain things or um get more serious about health or you know I don't know <laughs> but there definitely was a bigger purpose and I don't know uh I think I'm still in the beginning phase of whatever that purpose is so I'm just excited to see you know um where where it leads um so yeah that that's pretty much i've rambled enough I, this was probably all over the place i hope that you guys were able to understand um i hope that someone who needed to see this video just like i needed to see the other uh ladies comes across this and i hope it reaches who it is supposed to reach so um i made my breakfast i'm gonna get in here and eat it i did some um egg white with onion and bell peppers oatmeal and two turkey sausage so yeah i'm gonna get in here and eat so that um oh and i've been really better with routine as well okay i'm i'm adding too much stuff and if i sit here i will think about so many things that i can add to this video um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this random all over the place video i hope you understood it and um I'm not even going to edit this thing. I'm just going to post it. And I hope, you know, someone sees it. And let me know what you think. If you are in the same space in life. If you're feeling like things are like aligning for you. But, you know, you're on the road to alignment. But you haven't reached like what that that purpose or that next step or phase in your life is just yet. So, yeah, like and comment down below. Bye. <laughs>